The chicken is the perfect bird. Intelligent. Hygienic. Empathetic. Polygamous. Not to mention extremely productive. Hens lay nearly 100 eggs each year. Roosters are busy fertilizing around the clock. What do we have to show? Three kids? Max? While most eggs will only ever make it to the breakfast table, these chickens demonstrate a work ethic most of us can only dream of. The chicken maintains a close relationship with the earth. Chickens don't destroy life. They create. Nearly a century ago, we were killing each other over issues of race, nationality, and ethnicity. Chickens have seemingly bypassed such barbaric displays. Will humans ever be capable of such coexistence? Rolling. So, well into my 50s now. I guess I was 47 when I came across this place and got some brown ones, some white ones. And everyone goes to the store, they buy their eggs, and they think they're, they think they're, those are eggs. <laughs> we all know where those, those are. <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah, you know where those came from. Yeah. But I mean, we don't even want to talk about that. But um, real chicken eggs are different because they, they have imperfections sometimes. But I mean, what people might call imperfections, what I like to call extra perfection, right? I mean, on uh -huh. personality. Yeah, yeah, and they, they sing to us. I mean, I mean, you know, metaphorically. So this is the chicken guy. Um, he'll, he'll tell you how the eggs are made. It's a pretty big, important part of my job is you know cleaning the chickens and making sure that everyone's healthy and doing well. You usually get them around in the morning, sometimes sometimes in the afternoon. It's sometimes at night. Yeah, I mean, it kind of could depends. Be the, could be the middle of the night. Um, depends on, you know, like how the chickens have been doing. Yeah. And that kind of determines like how many gifts of the eggs mm. they want to give us. And I think it might have something to do with how well we've been doing. If I mean, that's just a little... Like, thing. as our family or, like, the whole world? Yeah, that's a good question. Because I've always kind of always wondered that, too. Yeah, it's deep. We're, g we're gonna be here, right? I mean, yeah. So, and wh where else? I, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Or do you mean, like, where, like, where are we gonna be, like... Yeah, I said, maybe that was a stupid answer, because I was, like, thinking physically, like... We're, yeah. Yeah, me too. I mean, like, what, what does that question even mean? Like, we're gonna yeah. be on the same farm. So many people call it a cult. It's just, um, it's, it's, it's a family. No, it's not a cult. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. You know, Sebastian was, oh, he was squatting down in the field, taking a little poop. Yeah. And I was just like, whoa, what are you doing? That's gross. And then yeah, it was that. like one of those moments, like a light bulb moment, when it just turned on. You were just like, bing. You know, like, what is that? The toilet. And it like sucks your poop down into some dark cavern. And do chickens use toilets? I mean, that's a silly question, right? Um, no, they don't. Yeah, where was I? Uh, we were talking about. Oh, so like I'm, I'm basically a hippie. Uh, I'm as liberal as the next guy, right, Sebastian? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've. I guess some people call it polygamy. It's like a fancy word. <laughs> Or, um, you know, like this one man and like you can have as many women as he wants. And, you know, th but that's because we love the women. Um, yeah. yeah. I, I would have voted for it. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm just there. Too, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, you're too young to vote, but, yeah, you know, that's the, <laughs> if he could, he would. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because, yeah. So, yeah, we're all about, the, we're all about the girls. So the roosters basically, we provide what's necessary to make more chickens and the hens I'm not really sure what they do but so it's like the same kind of thing with us um, you know um, I mean I'm the most skeptical guy you can you know find around right here. Right, well, besides Sebastian, because he is, like, seriously skeptical, okay? And, like, 
Yeah, I mean, he I, mean, I don't know if you'd say, you he, can't say that. No? Okay. But I mean... Well, when I first came here, you know, like, there was a time when I thought Pokemon wasn't real. I mean... I mean... <laughs> no, because that's how skeptical I was. I mean, that was... It blew my mind. I mean, so... Well, I mean, I don't know if you... It's just, we're getting off topic a little bit, but... um. No, there's, seriously, there's this professor, he made a YouTube video of his findings um, that basically... Um, on Pokemon, right? Yeah, yeah oh, wait, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, I was... I couldn't believe it, Pokemon. The, the, the video game is... It's a video game based on this real altered dimension that actually exists. And he has shown this and proved it. Yeah. But, he, like, went there, remember, in his video, he had his own machine... It was, <laughs> it was mind blowing. People call us kooks, right? I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's embarrassing. It's like all over the internet. Um, they think we believe in magic. You know, it's like there's no magic in chickens. They're just chickens. Yeah. I mean, we're just we're just living on the land with the chickens. Maybe that's kind of a cool way of saying it. You know. Um, but yeah, it's the serving the chickens is um, is what I'm here for. And um, yeah, that's it's pretty simple. Chickenfoot, or Seafoot, is a society of friends united under common worship of the chicken in search of its guidance in bettering mankind. We're a family. We raise the chicken until ripe, and then we consume the flesh of our brothers and sisters. We grow strong on their sacrifice, absorb their knowledge. The fowl guides us and our spiritual awakening focuses our stream of consciousness and reveals to us many truths. Only when we become one with the ideal bird will a utopian society finally be possible. Join us to create a better world, enclosed in barbed wire with a leader you can trust where a man can manage his flock, and duties are clearly divided. Join us.